This episode is a dramatic reading of Espresso's Deadly Brew by Peggy Gittergal underscore LBS4. You can find it on Wattpad. Link below. And joining me in this very special episode is my best friend. Hey, I'm Jenny O'Hara from Jen's Pokey Talk and Jen's Pokemon AMVs, both of which will be linked below and in the pinned comment. Enjoy. Chapter 5 What was he thinking? Has he lost his mind? Alchemist asked herself in a panic. She had never expected Espresso to dabble on a bed of decaf magic. Forbidden coffee magic, she said. Why? Why would he practice such a thing? She kept reading through the notes. I don't understand. He would never touch such a thing. His body isn't strong enough to handle a sudden drop in. She froze. It suddenly dawned on her what went wrong the night of Espresso's collapse. Oh no! I must warn the doctors! Alchemist grabbed the phone, but suddenly she felt another hand. She gasped and turned away from them, standing next to her the cookie. He did not recognize. Who are you? How did you get in? He asked. My, my. So hostile, the cookie said softly. I am nothing more than a mere calling of espressos. He told me to make sure no one was in his lab without his permission. Are you sure? He asked, not believing this stranger. How do I know I can trust you? Espresso wouldn't let anyone walk in to his lab. Would he? The cookie said. If he did, that would be unwise and irresponsible. Yeah, that would, Alchemist said. So, who are you exactly? Like, what's your name? Oh dear, they said. Let's just say that I can't share that, as I'm a member of high society. And if I told you, I'd be putting the safety of our kingdom in danger, as outsiders could easily track me down and hurt me. That's how I know Espresso. His contributions to the uses of coffee magic are immeasurable. Okay, well, I'm gonna go let the hospital know what I've discovered, Al said as she started to leave. The stranger grabbed her arm and pulled her towards them violently. She yelled out in fright. I'm sorry, dear, but you aren't going anywhere, he hissed, his white eyes piercing through her glasses and straight into her soul. Meanwhile, Madeline was busy fencing with Raspberry to keep his mind off things. Music was playing in the background as two clashed swords, whilst Knight, Tea Knight, and Red Velvet watched. Even though he was doing well, a special situation lay heavy on his mind. Yield! Raspberry said. Night Cookie pressed the button on the speaker and stopped the music. Everything alright, Commander Madeline? She said. It's espresso! Madeline said. <sighs> of course it is! Red Velvet said, unsurprised. I'm worried! Madeline said. Don't be, he Knight said. He's in good hands. Down at the Pure Vanilla Hospice. He'll be cared for. Okay. Bandlin sighed. All right, Claire said. Ready your swords. Madeline and Raspberry both grabbed their swords and waited. And Alonzi, Claire said, as the two started to fence again. Pikachu.